Hello Sausage, this is Nana Beryl, and today we're playing The Sims 2 with the Juno Birch family. Now they're going to visit Sim Francisco in this second video, this is the second part of Juno Birch moving into Simville, and they're in Sim Francisco now, they're coming to visit the drag nightclub called Nicky Nacky New Drag Nightclub. And out the front here you can see them arriving, and you can see the Celebrity Star Pathway with the white and black stripes with all the stars on it. Now her partner Phil, he's about to go inside I think. They've got quite a few people arrived in the taxi, yes. There's a whole lot of people. Yes, so he's going inside and she's going to the bathroom because she needs to go and have a shower. Yes, because she likes to smell like roses, yes. This is a very glamorous drag bathroom for the drag queens who perform there, yes. And as we can see, you've got three showers, and it's quite a glamorous little room, isn't it, with nice curtains, and a bed for if you get tired and need to have a bit of a nap between performances. But she's just coming to check the nightclub out to see if it's a place she'd like to perform at tonight. Because tonight it's not actually open as a drag club, because it's only early in the week. They only have performances on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, love. Now upstairs, You've got the restaurant as well, see? This is what it looks like with the roof up. And you've got an entertainment area outside, an outdoor area with a spa pool. So you've got a nice restaurant upstairs, yes. It's a very pink, very camp nightclub, isn't it, love? Yes, it is. And you can see you've got the light boxes outside with pink flamingos in front of them, yes. And you've got a bar there too, yes. Now Juno's just going to go upstairs, but she's waiting for this man to, to stop, stop blocking her way in the staircase. And he was about to leave, but then he's noticed Juno Birch and goes, Oh my God, it's Juno Birch. I'm going to have to follow her back upstairs and ask for her autograph. Yes. He didn't realise there were going to be any drag queens there tonight. But she just wants to chill, yes. But then Juno Birch's fan club has arrived, and her partner Phil has gone to the spa pool. And she sees what sees him and thinks, well, I'm going to hop in the spa pool and we need to discuss a marriage ring. Yes, we do. So she wants to discuss marriage with him. So she goes to talk to him about getting a marriage ring on her finger. And he says, well, love, there's too many people from your fan club here, so we'll have to talk about that later. We'll talk about the ring later, yeah? So he's talking about money and business and how they're touring. And this man's a businessman too, and he says, well, most of his money is invested in the bank. And then one of her other fans walks in and he hops into the swimming pool, into the spa pool and starts talking with them about their tour. And she says, yes, well, we have to plan ahead so that we make sure we have a regular income. And he says, really? Because do you do profit and loss accounts? Do you do profit and loss accounts to work that out? And her partner Phil says, yes, we do a profit and loss because we have to to work out a budget for all of Juno's lipstick, yes because her lipstick is expensive. Because some of the makeup comes from Krylon, and so it's not cheapest in the world, is it, love? No, but it's good good makeup and it works. It's even waterproof. Look at her in the spa pool, it hasn't come off yet. So this is the restaurant. It looks like it's owned by Johnny Depp when he was when he was the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland. Yes, now Kylie Minogue has just arrived wearing a short blonde wig because she's in disguise. She doesn't want to be harassed by people. Now this here is the changing room for the drag queens when they're there. But you can see it's a bit open plan, isn't it? So it's not very private, but you've got some changing stations there, and you've got some beauty stations as well where they can they can sit there and do their makeup. Yes, they can. And the DJ is having a good time. He's grooving away on the dance floor, yet with his DJ music. This is what it looks like from the outside. It's an unusual shape, isn't it? It's the shape of fake breast. Yes, it is. The two front rooms are like the shape of breast, you see. Because it's meant to symbolise fake breast on drag queens. Yes, that's right. Now, they're talking about politics, and he's saying, well, Juno was thinking of becoming a politician to stop transphobia. He says, well, I'm going to be a politician in America and join up with the White House to try and compete against Donald Trump. And the other Sim just says, no, look, I don't want to talk about politics, I'm more interested in reading books. And Phil talks about how they've moved into a house in Simville for now. 
She says, have you heard of ChatGPT? He says, yes, but have you heard that they might be going bankrupt yet? It's hard to predict though, eh? It's not like we have a crystal ball. He says, yeah, you can't tell the future, can you? And he says, well, I'm glad we all agree. Yes, it's good developing new friendships like this, isn't it? He says, hey, Juno, what kind of lipstick do you wear? And she says, well, I wear a lip liquid lipstick by Trixie Cosmetics that I teamed up with. And it's amazing. Yes, it is. And now she's talking about classical music by the music group Bond. But now she's getting really tired. And she says, look, sorry, love, but I'm really exhausted from all my touring. and I need a bit of a nana nap. Yes, I do. And she says, Nana Beryl, I need to go home and have a sleep. And I say, well, sorry, love, but you stop being so antisocial. She says, well, I'm just going to have to sleep here on this lounger, seeing as you won't send me back home. It's not fair. So she's going to have a bit of a snooze. Yeah, she's going to have a bit of a nap and snooze away. Now, because she's been snoozing for so long, oh, and there's Kylie Minogue in a short blonde wig. Yes, and she's hopping into... She is, she's hopping into the spa pool, hoping no one will notice that she's Kylie Minogue because she doesn't want be, to be harassed. She wants to just relax and chill for a while, yes. Now, because she's been snoozing for so long, we've had to cut the video here. So Phil had already left for a while to go downstairs. So he's just come back, but he's really tired. He's, he's a bit exhausted. And so he's thinking of having a nap too. So he's trying to be social with them, but he's really tired because he's been working as a videographer during Juno's tour, yes. So he's busy, and he's suddenly got a full head of hair, eh, since he arrived. It's almost like he's been using instant minoxidil, yes, instant regain for men. So he's decided he needs a nap, and he's saying, Nana Beryl, I need to have a bit of a snooze. So he's going to go and have a snooze too, yes he is. And he's also hungry, yes, but he wants to have a sleep. So he's decided to go and have a snooze in one of the lounges outside as well. So he's going to do that now, I think. Where are you, Philip? Where have you gone? Yes, he's having a snooze and he's wiping his nose because some sand flies have just got up his nostrils and tried to lay eggs in his sinuses, yes. But they're not going to get very far because he he's just sneezed and let them out. Yes, that's right. Now over here we have the restaurant, yes we have the restaurant with chairs that look like they belong in Johnny Depp's Alice in Wonderland, yes that's right, they look like they belong in Alice in Wonderland don't they, look like they're owned by the Mad Hatter, look like they belong in a Tim Burton film don't they, like Mars Attacks or something on the spaceship, yes they do. So now we have the restaurant here and I think Juno and her partner are hungry so they need to have some food, yes they do, so Philip's going to take a seat and Juno's coming up as well to have a meal. And she's thinking, well, where is Kylie Minogue? I was meant to meet her. Oh, there she is downstairs. I was meant to meet Kylie Minogue to have, a, to have some um, dinner with her. Yes, we're going to talk business. Because I have to catch up with Kylie Minogue because while well, we've got a break from our tours. So they're all taking seats and she's going to order a drink, yes. So she thinks she'll have the cappuccino so she's drinking a cappuccino that she's instantly got somehow magically in her yellow gloved hand. And, and her waitress comes up and says, hello, my name's Melissa, would you like to order some food? And she says, well, actually, Juno says, look, my lipstick, has it come off on my coffee cup? She says, no, love, your lipstick's fine, it hasn't come off on your coffee cup. And she just giggles at her and thinks, you're hilarious. Because I'm more interested in talking about climate change and air pollution. And they say, well, we're too busy, we're ordering food, we're hungry, love, we don't care about that crap right now, sorry, love. So she doesn't like that very much. But that's too bad because she's working at a restaurant and we're not interested in talking about that right now. I'm interested in ordering food. So Kylie Minogue says, look, we want to order a meal, what would you recommend? And she says, well, I don't like you two girls because you won't talk to me about air pollution. So she's going to get a meal order from from Juno Birch's uh, partner, Philip, who's who's obviously looking over at Kylie Minogue thinking, oh my God, I like Kylie Minogue, she's a bit hot. And Juno's not very happy with that. She's looking at him thinking, you wait till we get home. So, now downstairs you can see the nightclub's still raving. Yes, there's not many people there at the moment, they're all upstairs. Yes, so we've got some beach boys over there in the board shorts and we've got Phil on his own, he's not sitting at the table with them. There's not enough chairs. 
So you've got these three beach boys looking over at Juno Birch and they're also questioning whether or not that's Kai Minogue in disguise. So I think that's that woman from Padam Padam, but without her red dress. Yes, I think it might be, they say. So I think it is. I think it's Kylie Minogue. They've decided to follow Juno Birch downstairs to have a look at the pub. So they want to have a look at the local bar. And Juno's saying, look, I'm hungry, but can you order me a drink? So she's decided she's going to order herself a drink instead. While the beach boys all come down and have a perv at her and go, oh my god, it's Juno Birch. She's stunning. So she's ordering a drink. She's saying, look, I'll have a gin and tonic, yes I will, with some ice. And she says, who's your decorator, love? Because it doesn't look like somebody has sucked a lollipop and then plastered it all over your walls at all, love, no. So she's having her, her gin and tonic. Now her partner, Phil, has finished his meal. Yes, he has. And now the waitress over at the side there who's mopping up the floor, she's going to come up and ask him if he wants to order something else because he's a special on. She says, hello. It's me again. I just wondered if you want to order some lamb shanks with some salad because it's on special and you look like you're still hungry. And the cafe worker over on the right, he's thinking, wow, I'm not busy at all right now. I wonder if I can go home early because I'm only getting paid minimum wage. And I'm not happy about it. And I don't want to be here all day being bored. So now Juno Birch is downstairs talking to Kylie Minogue and also to her, her fan club, yes. They're waiting for the vending machine. Now they might order some more food. Kylie Minogue's still hungry, so she's gonna come up and order some more food. And Juno is trying to watch her figure, but at the same time, she is a bit hungry. So they've decided they're gonna sit down, because they haven't really had a proper talk yet, because they keep getting interrupted by the waitress. And she says, hey, Juno, how are you anyway? And Juno says, well, I am stunning. How are you, darling? And she goes, well, I'm pretty much the same. I think I'm stunning too. She goes, what are you gonna order? And she says, well, she said, I was going to ask ChatGPT what I should order, but I think I might just order some broccoli and some soy sauce. Because I love broccoli and soy sauce. And so now the waitress is coming up and disturbing them again. Yes, she is. She's saying, well, what would you like to order? And Kylie says, well, I would like some steak and some lettuce. Yes, I'd like some lettuce. In fact, I might just put, you, put hold on that, love. I might just put a hold on that. I think I'll have a vegetarian hamburger. Yes, that's what I'll have says Kylie Minogue. He goes, because I have a, I want something light because I'm performing again tonight. I don't want too much, I don't want my stomach to bloat or I might not fit my red padam padam dress which is in the wash at the moment because I got a bit sweaty last night because I got a bit carried away on stage into too much dancing around. Yes, I did. So it's in, in my washing machine at home. Yes, it is. It's in my Maytag washing machine at home, well not home, at my hotel, yes. So I had to get some coins to put in my Maytag washing machine and put some personal automatic, yes, personal automatic laundry powder in to wash my padam padam dress. So I hope the colour doesn't run, darling. So she's telling her all about that. And Phil's just so tired, he wants to get home, so he's going to ring a taxi. Yes, he is, he's going to ring a taxi. And here comes a 70s groovy chick from the 70s, yes. And she's not going to call into the nightclub because she's busy trying to find the Sims 4 and Paralives. Yes, she's trying to find which one she's meant to be in. She's wondering if she's meant to be in Paralives, but she's trying to find it. And Kylie Minogue wants to go as well because she's got tours that she's doing. And she's kind of busy and she wants to get some rest and she has to prepare for tomorrow. Yes, she does. And so does Juno Birch. Yes, Juno Birch has got a tour on and she's meant to recover in between. Yes, she's finding it very difficult. She also has to get that makeup off because she's headed on for nearly 24 hours. Yes, and she wants to take her blue Krylon body paint off and her face paint and also her wig. Yes, she has to take her wig with pigtails on and, and get it off of her because she's put it into pigtails because she's going to go into the spa pool and she didn't want to get it wet. But now she's got to remove it because it's, it's making her scalp a bit itchy and she's getting a bit sweaty from having it on for so long. Yes, so she wants to take that off. And upstairs you can see Phil has fallen asleep on the couch outside because he's completely Nicky Nacky Nude, which is the same name as the nightclub. Yes, Nicky Nacky Nude Drag Club. Well, he's actually Nicky Nacky Nude because he's just so tired. That's right, he's knackered. 
so he needs to go to bed. Now where is the taxi? And what's Juno up to? Where's she gone? Where's she disappeared to? So Juno is downstairs and she's having a Shiraz wine. She is a Shiraz. And she's going to say goodbye to Kylie Minogue for the night. She's going to say, Kylie, I need to get home and change out of my clothing and take off my makeup because I've been wearing this body, body paint makeup for nearly 24 hours. And my wig is also starting to itch and rub against my hair. Yes, it is. And I'm scared it's going to produce bald patches through rubbing against my hair so much. So I need to go home. So see you later, girlfriend. And she says, well, see you later, love. And so Phil and her are going to head back to Simville Central so she can take off her makeup and her wig. Yes, that's right. And Phil's a bit exhausted too. He needs some recovery time. And Kylie Minogue screams out to her and says, Hold on, love. Hold the taxi. I might need to go back to the hotel, actually, and prepare myself for tomorrow. So everyone there who's fans of them also wants to go back home. So that's what they're going to do. They're going to share a taxi fare back home they are. So that's going to be the end of our video today, love. So thank you for watching, and tune in next time. Bye.